What is up, young people? This is your boy, Reggie. And today I want to talk to you about three ways on keeping your focus on Christ. And the reason why I'm making this video is because in this time right now in our lives, we need to be more focused on Christ. And we have so many things out there that's, that's a bombarding our lives and changing our attitudes and, and giving us so, so, so many distractions and everything like that. And our lives are so impacted by what is happening around us. And our focus gets taken off of Christ by the things that are happening around us. And so, you know, we need to have our mindset on what is of God, first and foremost, to keep our path on the right direction where we're going in. And so I want to just give you just three little small, just a little steps to, to help you to keep your focus on Christ. So the number one, the very first one that I want to give you is, is to listen to worship music. Now, I know that you listen to a lot of different music and a lot of different artists and everything like that, and they have words that come out. There's some, some of them are positive and some negative and everything like that. And even in my household with my kids here, they, they tend to listen to music that is not really uplifting and everything and all that. And so uh, what I wanted to tell you is that I listen to, by listening to worship music, by listening to that music right there, it is it brings up a positive attitude and a positive aspect of your life. It uplifts you in a way that you're closer to God, you're more focused on Christ, and you're more adhered to what he has for you. And the Bible, it says in the Bible that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so when you're listening to that music that is, that is, that's more positive, that's more uplifting from, from God and more worship music, you tend to be more uplifted to God and you tend to be closer to him in that music. And by by doing so, you have a more positive, more joyful attitude of things. And, you know, what controls up here is what controls the body, what controls everything else. And so what, what you put inside of here, inside your mind, also controls your thoughts, controls your, your actions and what you do and how you do things. And so by listening to that more positive, more good feeling music, the more positive worship music, you get a better grip on things, and you are more focused on Christ. The second thing I want you to talk to you about, what, you, what is important is, is hanging out with people with like-minded faith. The people you hang out with, the people you're around, whether it be family or it be friends or whatever out there, they really do affect you. They affect your attitude and your personality. And what they say, what they do around you does affect you. And so if you're hanging around people that are talking negative all the time, that are always talking about negative things about what's going on in the world and all this and that, that it's going to soon affect you. It's going to affect who you are. It's going to affect what you do. And it's going to affect how you speak. And so the Bible says that to not forsake the not forsake the assembly of ourselves together. So when we assemble together with, with people of like-minded faith, when we assemble with people that have the same kind of faith, the positive faith that we have, it tends to uplift us to God. It tends to put us more focused on God and be more positive. And so by hanging around those who are not in that same likeness and that same like, like, uh, life, uh, like faith and that, it will tend to bring you down and lower your, lower your, your, your attitude and lower your, 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 your focus on God. And so by being around good, positive people, being around good friends like that, it will help you grow more and be part and be more of God. Uh, and also, the Bible also says that that uh, where two or more are gathered in his name, in God's name, in my name, there I am in the midst of them. So when you're hanging around other people, hanging around people that are more positive and like that, and like that, God is right there in the, in the midst of y'all. He's right there in the midst of all that's going on. And he's right there in the presence. And so, and if you're hanging around and you're doing, if you, if you're together and you're doing this, you can feel the presence of God being around you. And it's, the, and your focus is not on the world or things like chaos that are happening around you. The focus is right there on God and he's right there in the midst of you. Now, the final and most important thing that you can do, this is very important. The most important thing you can do is pray and ask God for help. Every morning when I get up, I always pray to God. I always thank God for getting, for waking me up in the morning, for getting me up and, and for giving me life today. 
And it's very important to do so because he is the one who woke you up in the morning. He is the one, not the alarm, not mom coming there shaking you and say, hey, get up. God woke you up because he breathed life into your body and he is giving you a new day. And so by doing, by praying in the beginning, you acknowledge to God that you're thanking him for what he has given you. You're thanking him for what he has done for you. You're thanking him for, for being there for you, for being a part of your life and being with you through all things. Even through all this junk that's going on with the COVID-19 and all this, God is still with you. And by praying to him in the morning, by starting your prayer out in the morning and with him, you'll feel his presence around you. You'll feel his his love and his compassion right there with you. And he'll be with you throughout your day as long as you start your day with prayer, as long as you give that, that glory to him in the beginning. So start your day out with prayer. Start your day out with that and get that, that, that positive vibe about you and everything. I know we're going through some tough times right now and all, and what's happening here, we don't know the, we don't know what's going to happen in the uncertainties of things that are coming in the future or that, but I tell you who do, who does know, and that's God. God is not surprised by anything that's happening right now. God is not, is not away from anything that's happening right now. He is in the midst of everything that's going on right now. And so with all these things that are happening, I just pray that you continuously, continuously focus on God, give him praise and glory, and continue to stay positive in all things you do. This is your boy, Reggie. And hey, I hope you all have a great rest of your summer and hope that all things go work together for good for you. And those who are, who are called, called according to his glory, and his riches. Thank y'all. Peace out.